everybody. Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation, the only web series about the movies on the internet that dares to ask hard-hitting questions like, hey, uh, that J.J. Abrams, he turned Star Trek into Star Wars, so does that mean he's going to make Star Wars more like Star Trek? What? I don't know. We don't know. But uh, we're here. I'm your host, Todd Anderson. This is Film Pig Steve Skelton. Film Pig Steve Falk is busy working on his FX show, You're the Worst. Uh, which is going to come out in the summer, and you should watch it because it's funny. And uh, this is our very special guest, Kit Quinn. She's the hey. star of the Kickstarter-funded Sweethearts of the Galaxy, and she's a cosplay goddess, a uh, favorite at comic conventions everywhere. So uh, look for her and check her out and follow her on Twitter and do all that stuff. Um, we've got popcorn and therefore have to clink glasses. Oh, hello. Yeah. Thank you. Eye contact with us, it's bad luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, eye contact. Oh, oh, eye contact. And then drink Bring before you put the glass down. Mm. 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 Oh, boy. Ah, superstitions withheld, with upholded. There you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this we're going to do popcorn, fine. you guys. <laughs> uh, we're going to do the show uh, the way we always do the show, and we're going to start with this thing we call Rash Judgments. Now, there are movies coming out in the multiplex this weekend, and how do you know which ones to see and which ones not to see? Well, you have to, you have to talk to experts like us, and we're, we're very expert in our opinions, although we have not seen any of the movies because we don't get to go to advanced screenings because no one takes us seriously. Not fancy. But that's okay. We'll give you our, our opinions anyway. Skelton, what's your rash judgment? Oh, my rash judgment is for a movie called Tracks. And if you like movies with uh, ladies in the 70s who walk across the Australian desert with a bunch of camels and a dog, this is probably a movie for you. It's based on a true story about a lady who walked across the Australian desert <laughs> with a bunch of camels and a dog for no reason. Um, it's like a mountain climbing thing because it's there and you do it. And yeah. it's her journey and it's something... And the guy, there's a guy from Girls who I think is in the new Star Wars movie who's a photographer. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a little indie picture. It looks like it's got some nice uh, uh, photography and, and, oh, and, good and settings. Maybe cinematography and like, go, yeah, too? cinematography as well. <laughs> and it's in vistas and desert. And it's, it's, I think it's going to be one of those movies that it's like when it's on TV in a couple of years, I go, oh, I remember just talking about that on Film Pigs. Yeah, I'll watch it. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. All right. There, good. there it is. There's the rash judgment yeah. on uh, that movie called Tracks. <laughs> Whatever that movie was yeah. called. Whatever that, that movie name. was called. Uh, now we're going to go to our uh, absentee uh, film pig, Steve Falk, to hear what he has to say about the upcoming Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore picture. Uh, take it away, Steve. Blended. It's uh, 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 the third Adam Sandler, Drew Barrymore romantic comedy uh, opus. This one, uh, they're playing two um, like people who go on a date and then it sucks, but then, and they both have kids and they're single and then they end up both going to the same African safari. And then there's like Ladysmith, Black Manzambo type singing and uh, jokes about like um, uh, animals. And um, it's, it's directed by a, a Frank Karachi, who did uh, Here Comes a Boom and Zookeeper and um, uh, uh, The Water Boy and Click. You know, a lot of really good Adam Sandler joints. Uh, there's no way in uh, God's green earth I will see this movie. All right, Steve. Uh, yeah, thanks okay. a lot. I'm, uh, I'm, I, for one, am very excited for the release of the uh, DVD collection of all three Adam Sandler, <laughs> Drew Barrymore <laughs> uh, pictures, because that's, that's what I'm going to give to Steve for Christmas. Is it? That's actually happening? It's well, thing. of course it'll happen a eventually. Oh, okay. I thought. Like the bargain bin DVD. It'll be a few years, but mm -hmm. I'll remember, and I'll get it, and I'll give it to Steve. He'll love it. He will. He'll love it. Now it's time to hear from our guest, Kit Quinn. What do you have to tell us about? So I'm here to talk about X-Men Days of Future Past. And Days of Future who? Days of Future Past. Future Past. Right? How does that work? Yeah, yeah. just let her talk. Uh, it's, it's a good title if you don't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great. <laughs> and you know what? I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to be <laughs> proud I can say it while being three-fourths the way through my scotch. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. right. Day, Days of Future Past. Almost didn't say it right, but I did. Uh, based solely on the name, heck yeah, I'm going to go see it. <laughs> 
No, not based solely on the name, but a lot about the name. A lot of it also has to do with my love of the 1970s. I'm a big uh, fan of the mid-century aesthetic. And yes, the 70s were not in the mid-century, but we still got a little of the flair. It's 73 is what it's set in. So big collars, I'm all about that. And I'm a big <laughs> fan of the integration of, you know, real history with like comic history. So we're gonna have Nixon in there. We're gonna have JFK. We're gonna have mutants messing with the timeline. I enjoy it. And also I enjoy Jennifer Lawrence wearing uh, silicone pasties and some body paint. Wow. Why wouldn't you go see that? Glowing review. You see for your <laughs> skinny little butt running around in <laughs> silicone pasties? I'm all about it. <laughs> Fair enough. So I guess you should go see uh, X-Men Days of Future Time. Past. Past. Friends, it's in the past. And the Wolverine. And, and, uh, <laughs> and Origins. Ma and maybe uh, check out uh, Tracks with the Desert. Uh, but don't see blended. No. I guess. Uh, that's what we've come to here. So that's the end of Rash Judgments. And uh, we, since we have a cosplay expert with yep. us, see, Steve and I, uh, we are cosplayers. Um, it's weird, yeah. But it's not something we... It's, we're like newer yeah, it's to it. not very advertised. No. I think we're pretty great at it, but we're new to it. And since we have, yeah. you know, a goddess of cosplay here, we would like, we're going to get her opinion yeah, let's on, on that. Definitely, so definitely. Uh, let's, check out, let's check out that. Let's, let's, what, what should we do? We should roll it! Hey everyone, I'm Kit Quinn, star of the smash hit web series Sweethearts of the Galaxy, and I'm here today to talk about cosplay. Cosplay is the art of dressing up and embodying a character not only in your costume, but also in your attitude. So, let's show you some examples. With Trinity Infinity, I got to design exactly what I like in a cosplay. Comfort, spandex, gloves, classic styling, and of course a cool mask to protect my secret identity. Or you could be the Black Widow. For this costume, I had to mold and sculpt bracers to then cast in foam so that they'd be more comfortable to wear. It's practical cosplaying. Like Superman. I got to play with a male character transformed into a female costume with this one. So I got to add feminine touches that I enjoyed, play with some 1940s hairstyle, but still be the Man of Steel. The possibilities are endless. Now, apparently the film pigs are huge cosplay fans. Who knew? They wanted me to give them some tips on their favorite costume, so let's get started. All right, Todd, let's see your first costume. <clears throat> um, it, is this your costume? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you're supposed to be dressed as. Well, cosplay is all about dressing like famous characters, right? Yeah. yeah. This is my costume of me, Todd Robert Anderson, famous TV and movie actor, Wearing a hat. Um, that's not really how cosplay works, like, at all. I really think you're wrong. You only put on a hat, like, that, that's all you did, is you just... Fine, maybe this wasn't my best effort. I will go and put on another costume, and it will be very good, and you will love it, because I know exactly what you want. You know, I really don't think you do. I don't think he does. <laughs> um, okay, well, this is, this is almost a costume, but... Who are you dressed as? Hmm? Well, I mean, what, what character are you trying to portray with this costume? Oh, this is the doctor I pretend to be when I'm trying to steal prescription drugs. Uh, is that from, like, a TV show or maybe a comic I'm not familiar with? Uh, no, no, no. According to the court, I'm no longer allowed in Walgreens. Uh, Get the out of here! <clears throat> All right, how about this? You're wearing the same thing you were already wearing. What are you talking about? It's a different hat. Still not a costume. Fine. You want a costume? I'll give you a costume. Yeah. That, why I'm here? <laughs> uh, I don't even want to know. Ah, oh, uh, I'm one of the hoops from the movie Space Jam, starring Michael Jordan and a bunch of cartoons. Hey, I told you to get out of here. This is between me and her. All right, check this out. What are you supposed to be? Like Baby Dracula? No, I'm a superhero. Okay, well, I guess that does explain the underwear on the outside. Well, that's not part of the costume. <laughs> then why are you wearing a diaper on the outside of your pants? Excuse me. Oh my God, what, what are you wearing? I'm a sack. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes you are a sack. Bunch of assholes. 
Hey, Kit, give us a minute. I can't find part uh, of the human centipede costume. Nope. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Nope. 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 We we're going to let you be the middle. I'm, nope. I'm good. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, there you have it. Uh, uh, I guess uh, Steve and I, we, we have a little bit of work to do. I don't know, I think I got a lot of positive playing. feedback. Well, I can't wait to hear what people thought of your outfits. Hope they, they like yeah, comment. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think we could probably go to some conventions. And we should definitely do that. Well, yeah. you can go, certainly. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, should like, you is can, another question. We can host panels of some, like something. Expert should. panels. Can Expert. and should. Can and should. Two different things. Can and should. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Um, you make a good point, yeah. but uh, well, there there it is. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I've had a lot of fun. It's been amazing. So much fun. It's been amazing. Uh, we did. Uh, we we have had popcorn. Popcorn. And Delicious. we introduced everybody, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. we did rash judgments. Yeah. Uh, and they even saw Steve Falk for a brief yeah, moment. Yeah, it's segment, and, tape segment, pre-tape segment. And, Phoning it in. Uh, and and Qu Kit Quinn uh, told us about costumes. Yes. And how to wear them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and and now we're wrapping up the show. It's and like we did seems everything. Seems like everything. Yeah. yeah. Seems like everything. Do you guys have any plugs for like upcoming things? Do you want it? Um, uh, do, I don't know. It? When's this going to air? Is it going to air before Friday? Well, well, a couple weeks from now. <laughs> oh well, I hope you saw me at Big Wow up in San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> it's hope a, you had a good time at that. It's a reverse plug. And yeah, you, it's a reverse <laughs> plug. If you can, Whoa. if you can days of future past yeah, yourself. Yeah, days of future past. Nice. It. Back to the thing. And nice. I'll see then, you in San Jose. <laughs> yeah. Then boom, have a good time. Um, I'd like to plug a short film called Dog Catchers. Yes. Uh, which will be playing at the midnight showing at Dances with Films on uh, Friday, May 30th this year. It's at the uh, the Chinese Six uh, Theater in in Hollywood. So you know, go if you don't live in Los Angeles, get a fucking plane ticket and Work come here that. and see this short film. It's worth it. I'm in it. I'm and I'm great. I'm great. Unbiased that's opinion, right completely there. Completely unbiased. Yeah. yeah. No, that's uh, objective opinion from yeah. me about myself. Um, so until uh, next week, oh, I gotta, I gotta thank everybody. Th yeah. Thanks, Steve Skelton. Thank you. Thanks, Steve Falk. Yep. And uh, thanks, of course, yes. to Kit Quinn for showing up and helping us out. Yay. She's fantastic. I work for Scotch. She does, <laughs> which is all we have to give. <laughs> um, <laughs> it really is. It really is. Yeah, all we they're have not to give. lying. So uh, until next week, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Actually, I have a question for you. I have an answer. Have you ever been, like, as a cosplayer, have you ever been attacked, like, by a roving band of furries? Does mm. that happen? Not furries, just grabby boys. Oh, just grabby, grabby boys? boys? Just, yeah, just grabby nerds. <laughs> grabby fanboys. Grabby nerds. Yeah, that's, don't get any more That's ideas. the name of my new band. <laughs> Hash, hashtag <laughs> grabby, grabby nerds. nerds. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. never attacked by a furry. They are fine folk that keep to themselves. Oh, they get oh, grabby yeah. with each other. They don't really care. Yeah, if yeah. you're not dressed up as a furry, why do they give, give a crap? They keep, they keep it within the fur. Yeah, yeah within well, the yeah. fur. You nowhere to to near exciting enough for that. invite-only <laughs> scritching party. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not cool enough. I get it. It's, uh, it's fine, whatever. Well, you're probably lucky. Eh, you know, life is what you make.